This is a normal shader. And this is a Toon Cell shader, the perfect shader to achieve the classic 2D anime look in your 3D renders. I have included a sample blend file in the description where you can download for your reference. So, to make this shader, first remove the principled BSDF and add a diffuse shader and connect it to the material output. Let's also add a light source, a sun lamp, to see our shader in action. Next, we add the most important node for this shader, the shader to RGB node and connect it along with a color ramp. Now you can see it did not seem to make much of a difference. So, to generate the cell shading effect, we first change the interpolation from linear to constant, and as you slide this color stop, you see the cell shader in effect. Now you can add more color stops to define how your shading looks. I prefer three stops, a dark, a light, and a somewhat mix between them. You can also change the color in the color ramp itself. But I will see that if you change the base color of your object in the diffuse shader, you do not see that affect the output. That is because we are not yet considering the actual color coming from the diffuse shader. To fix this, what we need to do is add a mix node. Change its type to color and the blend mode to multiply. Next, add the output from the color ramp to the lower socket of the mix and the output from the shader to RGB in the upper socket of the mix. Now you can see that the cell shader color is same as the diffuse base color. The cell shader is basically complete by here, but sometimes when you use dark base colors, like this shade of blue, you might see that even if you increase the brightness of your light in the scene to very high levels, you may still not see the proper interaction due to the nature of the color itself. So, to have more control over your cell shader, we add a HSV node at the very start of this node tree. Let's change the color to the same shade of blue. And now, as we change this value here, we can see it change the cell shading. But this slider goes only up to a value of 2. So, to make it go even further, we connect it to a value node. Boom! You now have a fully controllable cell shader in Blender. You can even use an image texture by connecting the image texture node to the color input of the HSV node. Have fun playing with this style of shading in Blender, and like the video if you got any value from this content. Also, if you want to know how to add anime-styled outline to your models, check this video out here.